Hi, friends. Welcome back. I am so glad you're here. I am Elizabeth. I am a teacher, and uh, I still say I'm a kindergarten teacher, even though today or these days I've been teaching kindergarten and first grade. And um, I this is just the highlight for me of my day. I'm super excited to be teaching these courses and these classes to you. If you have joined us before, would you please let us know in the Q&A if this is your first class or if you've joined me in other classes? I love to know, but guess what else, I, what else I'd like to know is which grade are you going into? This really helps me with how to make my class and how to teach you. So if I have a kindergartner, that's going to be a lot different than teaching a 12th grader. So Please let us know in the Q&A which grade you are going into right now because this school year this school year has started for me. I wonder if it started for you. Some of my friends have already started. So if you do not mind doing that, and then we're going to go ahead to the overhead camera if you do not mind, Nicole. And I would like to share with you what we're going to be making today. There we are. We are going to make two more backpack pulls. So some of you joined me um, a few weeks ago and we made some of these backpack pulls. Well, I've got a jack-o'-lantern for you today and a smiley face. Isn't he so cute? I love these. And you know what? I really have enjoyed making these way more than I ever thought I would. So these are super fun little happy guys. So if you have started a collection on your backpack, now you have some more. Or if you took my other class, by default, now you have a collection after today's class. Okay? So these are the guys we're making. You can follow at Learn With Michaels. Not you, but your parent or your adult can follow at Learn With Michaels. Or you, they could follow me at La Cozy Casita. I would love, 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 love to see your finished product. I love when I get these from your adults. It just makes me so happy, and I like to see how you how you chose to do something a little differently than I did, or if you decided to do the exact same thing. I love seeing that. So um, you could find us there, share some pictures, and let's go ahead and go through our materials. So let me put my little clipboard away. And this came out of this Creatology box. So some of you still have yours from last time when we made the cupcake and we made the ice cream cone. So you are going to use the rest of this kit. That's why you see some things missing because we made these two items. So you're going to use the yellow and the black right here to make the happy face. And if you do not have the kit, that's totally fine. You can just use, this is an old box I had, but I just sorted lots of different kind of pony beads in here. So if you just have pony beads, um, I shared with you a bag of them last time. I've just sorted them out so they're easier to find. So if you just have them this way, that is great too. You are going to need yellow, black. You'll eventually need orange and black and a little bit of green, okay? So here's the two colors. Just start with yellow and black. And if you have them sorted like this, you don't even need to pull them out if you don't want to right now. Or you can put them in a little dish. You can grab a dish if you want so your beads don't roll away. And you are going to need some string. These strings are pretty long. Um, I like to use the whole string and then you can cut later. So I can measure this out for you if you like. I think it's actually in the uh, booklet. Let's see. And then we also, as I'm getting this out, untangling this, I'm gonna tell you what else we're gonna use. We're gonna use our little key rings. And if you don't have a key ring, you can still use, you can still make our little guys without the key ring. The key ring just helps, like now you're gonna have your clip on it, okay? So 
we've got a key ring and we've got our little clip. I think for this guy, this time I'm going to do purple. And I am taking out my beads. I'm just going to put them in a dish so I can free up some space here. The other thing you're going to use are, and again, this is optional, but I like to make these with straws. So if you have straws, you can grab those. I put them in the optional list. And like I said, you can still make this without the straws. What the straws do is it gives you a sturdier craft. So it's not as floppy. See how I can't, it doesn't flop around. You'll see here on this top one, see how it's more floppy, but they both, they both turn out great. So don't worry. It's just like a little hack I learned. And so I kind of like to do that now. Okay. I've got all, and they have extras in here too. So I'm not going to use all of those, but I'm just going to get it out of the way for now. And hey, in, yes. I have someone who asked, can they use beige instead if they don't have black? Yes, absolutely. You can use any color you want. You could do a purple and pink happy face. You can do a beige and brown, yellow and beige. Ooh, that's cool, guys. I want to see what you actually come up with. If you chose different colors, just use what you have. That'll make some for some really, really cool projects, some happy faces. Okay, and we need scissors. Okay, did we get everything? So you need your beads. You need some scissors. You need some straws if you got them. Any any of your beads and some string. And then if you have the kit or if you chose to do this, we've got our key ring and the little clip, okay? And so I'm gonna let you know, I thought it was in the book, but let me, oh, it sure is. Okay, so for the smiley face, it says 3.5 feet. Okay, that's going to be way more than you need. But like I said, it's better to have more than not enough. So come with me as I measure. I'm going to show you what 3.5 feet looks like. Okay. Did I say 3.5? 3.1. Okay, so we've got three. So there's one foot, 12 inches. It's a, the size of a ruler. So you're going to do that three times. I come back here to meet my fingers. I go to the 12 again, that's two feet. And then I'm gonna move it back up to the zero. To 12 again, and there we go. And then just one other inch. But this is much longer. I must have grabbed the cupcake one. So that's okay. I'm gonna go with it. It does say blue. They just were just extra generous. Oh, this is the seven feet. Okay, that's why there are two in there. Now I know. Okay, well, I measured out, but you know what? I have trust issues, so I'm going to give another foot. I'm scared if I cut that, it's going to be way, way, way too short. Okay, so, yeah, it says 3.1. Okay. I just had a little moment, guys. I just had a sinking feeling that I cut it too short. <laughs> but you know what? Then you could just do it again, right? Okay, dokes. So we've got our string. And Elizabeth? you are going... Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Grace and Lily no, are you. asking, what if we don't have enough string? If you do not have enough string... How, I wonder how long theirs is. Let's see. I would just maybe cut off, like anytime I'm asking for like, I would cut off um, two on each end or one on each end just to make a smaller little guy. You know what I'm saying? So it won't be as wide. So maybe here when I'm saying one, two, three, four, five beads, maybe you're using three and you're just... Cutting so when I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads, you're gonna use five beads. 
Do you see what I'm saying? So you're just going to subtract two from each row and that'll make it a little smaller. You could try that. And if not, it's just good practice. You can just practice along with us and you can grab some string next time you're out. Or if you have some, it doesn't have to be this string either. You could use butcher's twine, baker's twine. There's lots of options that you could use. You could use, I wouldn't use, um, well, you could use yarn as long as it doesn't unravel too much. So there's a few options for you. Oh, but I said we're doing the happy face. Okay. But you can still take off two from each end. Okay, so we are going to first you have the key ring. You're going to use your thumb to separate that. Did you see what I did? I used my thumbs and I'm just separating this little space here. And then I'm going to put that inside that hole right there and then bring it through. And if you need an adult to help you with this, this could be a harder task for my younger friends, then you can have your adult help you with that. Okay, so this first row is gonna be a little bit floppy because we can't put a straw on this first row. Okay, so I'm going to now put two beads on my ring, two yellow beads. So I'm going to separate it again. I'm going to bring it down so you can see me easier, okay? Separate it with my thumbs. And then I'm going to put on one. And while it's still open like that, I'm going to grab the other bead. Now I'm telling you this part right here is the most challenging part of the whole class, I think, and maybe tying, but that's it. The rest is easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. So that's what it's gonna look like. Also, I wanna say, if you feel like I'm going too fast or you're having a hard time catching up, just so you know, this is going to be on YouTube tomorrow, most likely tomorrow or the next day. They say 24 to 48 hours. It's always been on within 24 hours. So you can always rewind. But that was the main, the main deal right there. Okay. So now we have our starting spot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my string inside these beads like this. Okay, and I'm gonna pull until my ends are even. So here are my ends. And I wanna string until they are even. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna pull up so you can see what I have here. I've got my strings extra long right now so you can't see it all in the frame and now what I'm going to do is I am going to tape this so it doesn't wiggle on me okay you don't have to tape it if you don't want to and I'm going to tape just to kind of hold it in place up here and I'll move it as we uh, progress through the class but it just kind of again you don't have to do that or you could just set something on there just kind of keeps it in place from moving around on you. Okay, remember my ends are even Steven. This is even. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab two beads for this side and two beads for this side. One, two, and I'm gonna string them all the way down. I'm not moving the string. I'm just moving the beads. So I'm going one, two again, one, two. Now watch what I do. I'm just letting them fall, not pulling on my string because remember I worked to get them even. And if they become, you know, uneven, all you have to do is line them up again like this. You're grabbing the two edges and just kind of 
see where you're at here. Make sure you're even. Okay. Just pull them so that everything's even. So my string's even. This all looks the same on both sides. That's what even means. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is this is my hack. Okay. So this is where the straws come in handy. Got my straw. And I'm going to use my scissors. You can use kid scissors. Just mine are my little craft case. But all I'm doing is putting one end of my scissors inside the straw, open, close, open, close, and I'm just cutting right down the middle of the straw. Isn't that crazy? Unless you've taken my class before, we've never done that. There we go. Okay, so I essentially just cut, cut it all the way down. That's what you're gonna do. Okay, and it just looks like a regular straw again. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna count, or you can look at your booklet if you have your booklet, and it's the same thing. We're just counting how many yellow beads to use. So I think it's easier just to count the real thing. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what we're gonna do is grab 10 yellow beads, we are going to string them on the straw. Things are getting crazy. One, two, remember I said 10. And if it doesn't go in, just give it a gentle pinch. And so what's happening is our straw was like this, right? We cut it so we made a seam in our straw and our beads are smaller than the straw is. So this is what's happening to the straw. It's contracting. So watch, it's going whoop, tightening up like that. So if your straw, your bead kind of gets stuck, just whoop, and it contracts it a little bit so that you can fit your bead over it. Okay, that's all we're doing. But we're making a very stable line of pony beads so that when you hang this on your backpack, it's gonna be nice and sturdy. You'll see too, and, and if you don't have the straws, just make it the way you regularly would. And just your next time around, use some straws. Just comes out really nice. Let's see, how many do we have here now? Two, four, six, eight, and 10. So the beginning of the class, there's lots of little things to remember, but by the middle and end, you've got the hang of it. Okay, so I've got my 10. See how nicely they are in a row? See how that's different? See, just keeps them all so nice and straight. So this is what you do now. Put your finger here and gently push your row to the end, okay? Just like that. And then you're gonna take your scissors and snip your straw. And there you have it. Perfect little row. You would never know that you used a straw. Okay, so this is still even Steven because we did not move it, remember? But if you did, don't worry, just get it even again. So now I'm gonna put Watch here because this is the this is an instruction that you're going to need throughout the whole class now. And I'll give it again. But just so you know, I'm going to put the string in all the way through this way. This one in all the way this way. Crisscrossing and I'll pull. So watch how I do it. In goes the right until it comes out. There it is. And then I notice how I didn't pull it all the way through. In goes the left side, boop, boop, boop. It's just sliding on in there until it comes out. There it is, see it? So now I'm gonna grab this side and I'm gonna grab this side. And now I'm gonna pull my string, check it out. I'm trying to pull evenly, 
pull, 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 pull. And there we go. Now I'm going to check my ends. Match your ends up again. And then make sure this is even Steven. Okay. It's going to be a little loose here at the beginning, right? That's okay. There we go. Wasn't that cool, guys? Okay, our next one, let's see how many we have for our next row. We've got one, two, three, four, black. One, two, black, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we are going to get the rest of our straw and it's plenty long for that next row. So we go four yellow or whatever color you chose. And now remember, if it doesn't go in, just Give it a little squeeze whoop, and let it contract a little, okay? One, two, three, and four. Now we're making the eyeball. So we've got an eyeball to make. See what happens sometimes is like when it's contracting, sometimes it goes this way. So you just, all you have to do is pinch it and it gets back to where it needs to be or you just realign it. Okay, so we need an eyeball. Give it a little gentle little pinch. We need two in the middle. One, two, two yellows, one, two. And if I'm going too fast for you, that's why I have this here. So you can just kind of count on your own as well. And then I've got, see here. One, two, three, four. Oops. One eyeball and then one, two, three, four. One, two, slide her down. Three and four. Let's see here. Okay, I was just checking to make sure we were still good. <laughs> All my stuff went away. So I was like, oh no, do I still have you? Okay, so here we go again. I put my finger here. I slid over. And you can make it come out just a little more even. So see, this is right nice and even. But I can push it just a teeny tiny, just a teeny tiny inch. That way, not even an inch, like part of the bead. Don't go all the way to the end, but just give yourself a little more space because when you clip this, then you can see how this has a little bit of plastic coming out. See that? I can barely see it. But now when I go like this, it disappears. See? I gave myself a little space. All right. So now we do the exact same thing. I'm going to put the right side in, the left side in. I feel like we're doing the hokey pokey. We put the right side in. Let's get the left. Whoop. I got to wait. I got to make sure that comes all the way through. There it is. Boop. Now get this guy in. The left goes in towards the right. Now I got the hokey pokey stuck in your head, didn't I? Okay, here they come. And you just slide it down. Check it out. We've got the eyes now, you guys. So cute. Love it. Okay, so now we are ready for another set of eyes. Do you ever make your happy faces like that? Like line, line, and happy face? That's what that reminds me of instead of like dot, dot, happy face. All right, look, all I have is a little tiny guy left. <clears throat> so I'm gonna save him for the bottom if I can remember to use him. I'm getting a new straw and we are going to do that all over again. I forgot to put myself on airplane mode. So let me do that because I don't wanna lose you guys. All right, so now snip, don't forget to snip all the way down. Put just one part of your scissors in. There we go. Okay. 
And now we're going again, the exact same thing we just did. So four, four yellow or tan or whatever you chose. And then and black eyeball, two more yellows, a black eyeball and four more yellows. So while I do this, I'm curious, Nicole, if anybody has said what grades they're starting. Absolutely. So we've got third grade, uh, fourth grade, third grade, first grade, first and third, second grade, twelfth grade. Yeah, we've got a whole variety. Awesome. Cool. We have a lot of third and fourth graders. The last class I taught was the Apple Mosaic class. We called it the nine party because everybody there, it seemed, at least that chimed in, said they were nine. So that was kind of fun. And I wonder if my 12th grader is the same 12th grader that keeps joining us, which I love. We also have a few more grades popping up. We've got a seventh grade, a sixth grade, a fifth grade, and a fourth grade. Cool. I feel like this is like the perfect middle school craft, middle schooler craft. Like, I feel like I did these at camps. Okay, so here we go, guys. Remember this? Push it all the way to the end. And this is the other little hack I was telling you about earlier. Just push a teeny, tiny, tiny bit, just a teeny bit. Not so that these are going to fall off. You don't want them to fall off. And then snip that off. Boom. And then, oops, see, it fell off. I pushed, I pushed it too far. But don't worry. Not to worry. It's going to be fine. Just put it back. I did not listen to my own direction. All right, Nicole, you were about ready to say something, and I cut you off. Oh, no, you're good. I was just saying that I also did a lot of these crafts when I was in middle school. Doesn't it remind you of, like, camps or something? Like, summer camps? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> they were my favorite things to do. This is so much fun. Oh, I love these. Some of them are so, like, my 12th grader will probably really like to do the rainbow. The rainbow is so tricky. So I'm curious if they'll make that. That's a good 12th grader project. Okay, here we go. Pull, pull, pull. Make sure you're even, Steven. Oh, look, I'm off. So let me get it even again. And then I'm just going to pull a little to get it even. Okay, there we go. Now, if you're a tiny bit off, it's not gonna matter, but if you're like this much off, you're gonna wanna fix it. Get it back to being centered. All right, now we are going the top of the smiley face. So we've got, let's see, do I have enough? Yes, I do. Okay, so we're going two yellow beads, one, two, and we've got one black bead, the top of the smile. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six yellows. Again, don't worry if I'm ahead of you. And this is why. Because I'm just doing the same things over and over again. I'm just changing the amount of beads that I'm putting on. So you can still refer back, look up at the screen and just count these guys. So if you're still up here, that's totally fine. Just count to see how many beads you need to go and then do that because I'm not teaching anything new now. This is the same stuff we've been teaching. Okay, one, two, I've got a black and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, I need two more. One and two and then a black and two more yellows. Elizabeth Garrett was curious mm -hmm. uh, where you got the book with the instruction. This came in the box. So if you awesome. bought this box, it came in here. If you didn't get the box, don't worry. Like I said, this will be on YouTube and you'll be able to see mine. Or you could take a picture if you wanted. Freeze that, take a picture or screenshot, and then you've got your little 
patterns. The other thing is, is that you can always find patterns. Here, I'm going to set it right here for a second if you didn't get a chance to screenshot that. If you, um, there are all kinds of patterns online, all kinds. And you don't need even need to know, most of them don't, just like this, it doesn't say how many you need. You just count it. Or if you see a picture, all you do is just count it on your own. That's all you have to do. Michaels did a shark one this summer. That shark one looked tricky. I would like to do, I do the basic ones. <laughs> I like to stay in my lane here. Okay, let's see. Push this guy through. Where is it? There it is. So you really just want to push it through enough that when you push your other side through, it's not going to pull it back. So you don't want to pull it all the way through, but just enough. Okay, I'm going to move this guy out of the way. Oh man, okay. Now we got our next row and I need to start a new straw. And this is going to be The other thing is, is if you were short on your string, my friend who was short on string, you could just um, maybe not do like on this row right here, just make this all black. So you're essentially getting rid of this row. Do you see what I'm saying? So just make your smile like this. So he's just kind of smiling. He's not fully smiling. He's just kind of smiling. Because let me see here. Do, do, do. Go. We've got three rows to go. It's going to be a little tight. See, that's why I have trust issues with these guys. I should have just left it long. Um, and then we're going to go. So if you have plenty of string, you're going to go one, two, three. And then black. One, two, three, four. Black. And one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to show my friends who did not have enough string what to do. So we're going to eliminate this row and we're going to go to the next row. I'm going to show you how to fix it. So really what we're doing is just filling these guys in with black. That's it. Okay, so you're going one, two, three. And then it'll give me a little extra string so I can show you. I will for sure be able to um, tie this. But if I have extra string, I'll be able to show you even better how to tie it off. So one, two, three, and then we're going black. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Let me see what this looks like. I might get it and I'm like, mm, that's not going to work and we can restring it. One, two, three. Might not line up. We'll see here. And then we're gonna go three more, yellow. Have you guys started school yet? Let us know, yes or no. Actually, I should ask, who has not started school back up yet? See? It's like a, just a little bit of a smile. You see that? So if you don't have enough string, that's how you can kind of make it shorter, okay? And then you're just gonna put it all the way through. I think I'm gonna cut it anyway. If you do have string, you're fine. Make your next row. I know I have room, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have little nubs at the end and I wanna show you guys how to tie it off. So when we do the jack-o'-lantern too, we'll get the full on row. So here's the guy who's like, just okay. He's just doing okay. He's not like super happy like this guy. He's just a little happy. Do you ever feel like that? <laughs> okay. So now what you're going to do, you're going to do 
to our last row, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, remember, I just skipped a row. So some of you are still, you're on this row, the second to last row. So you're gonna do three, four, three, three, four, three. Now I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of like doing this um, problem solving because you can still see what the regular one looks like, but then what you can do if you don't quite have the same supplies, what it might look like. And this is where you can just be a little more creative. You know, you can just use your imagination or just change it a little bit. So this is, I have seven on here. <clears throat> And I honestly, I want to go a little longer, okay? So I want to make them just a little longer. So that is a prime example right there of how you can change the pattern to how you like it. You don't have to do exactly like it shows. And, you know, if anybody understands that, it's crafters because... That's what being creative is all about. It's taking your own ideas and implementing them or using them. That's how I like it. See, I made a lot of those guys. I could still go one more even if I wanted to. But when I just made this, it was too, too tiny. All right, so remember what I said, you can make it. It's like a push pop. Just push up a little tiny bit, but don't let it fall off or let it fall off like I did and just fix it. Push it together. And then you got, and goes right, and goes left. I have made this with Baker's twine before or Crafter's twine. I've made them using the plastic. I feel like the plastic one, the plastic strings, they're a little bit harder to tie in my opinion. But my favorite are these like silky ties. Okay, so there we go. There's the end, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna tie this, okay? And if you're not done, don't worry. Make your next row, it's totally okay. But I'm gonna show you how to tie this. So I'm gonna zoom in. Because remember, I'm ahead of you because I skipped that row. But I was showing our friends. And I wanted to have plenty of string here to show you. Or if you cut off too much string, you could eliminate an end as well. Okay, so I'm going to just put my end of the string through this guy. Okay? So he's falling down a little bit, and that's okay. I'm going to put it through there. All I'm doing in the end from the back. So come through the back and bring it back. So now you have this little loop. You see that? So if you're not there yet, just watch. Can you look up here for one second? All you're doing is taking your end. You're going to come up here. And now you've made a little loop. So now what you do with this end is you come back in this hole. So there's two holes. You're coming in here. Whoop, and then there's the, it kind of looks like an A, right? And now I'm coming in here. In and out. And then I'm just going to pull it. Okay. Hold on to this end so you don't lose it. And tight, tight, tight. And then I have to do it again. Oh, I have to go in one more time. I forgot this is a slippery guy. Oh, and I forgot to tell you to grab your, um, I hope you have your tool, your glue. In and out again. I'm doing the same thing twice. So, like I said in the beginning, this part, I think, and getting your key ring on are the two most challenging parts of the class. 
And if you need an adult to help you, you can, but I'm just kind of inching it up without making it tight, tight, tight. Now pull. Okay, so I did it twice. So I'm gonna show you on this. I had my string. Let's see, how do we do this? Uh, well, I'm gonna show you on the side because I've got another side to actually show you. Okay, I've created a little separation. I'm gonna go through the front to the back. Front, back, pull it just a little and put it through this loop that you made. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it again through the loop. Go through the loop. You're really just going in twice through that loop. And then gently try to scooch that knot as closely to the end there that you can. If you bring your knot out here, you're gonna have a very loose little creation. So you wanna get it really tight. See how tight I got it over here? So you're pushing this knot close to your beads, gently pulling. There we go. Okay, so this is where I said, I forgot to say, to say, um, to get your glue, but it was in the supply list, I believe. Glitter and sequin glue. This is just regular household glue. And I just put a little dab, a little dab will do ya. I'll just peel off the end here. I like to get it started on a piece of paper. There we go. So I know how much is coming out. And then I'm gonna put a little glue there and a little glue on this end, okay? Once the glue dries, then you can snip off your ends, okay? So tomorrow, when this dries or in a few hours, then you can snip off your ends. I wouldn't do it before then. Okay, there we go. You've got your happy face. Are you ready for jack-o'-lantern? And if you're not ready, you just keep working on that happy face. I'm gonna have it out so you can see the pattern. But if you are following along with me and you are keeping right on track, we can start pulling for our jack-o'-lantern. I like to get this mat out when I glue so I don't ruin my surface. All right, so here's this guy. I'm gonna put him down here. But now we're ready for Jack. Isn't he cute? Okay, you guys, I saw a Frankenstein online. That would be so cute, right? <clears throat> okay, so we just have a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started again on this. And we are starting out the same way. Let me just see how long this <clears throat> string is. This is a much smaller guy. Oh yeah, I've got four feet here. I think that's gonna be plenty. Now you can see this one, I did not use a keychain on or a hook. You, this is the reason why is because not everybody's gonna have a keychain and a hook and I just kind of wanted to leave it. So you could just make your own hook with some string and tie it on your backpack. So we'll do the same thing for this one, okay? So I won't put a string, I won't put a key string or a hook on this one just so you can see how to get it started. So I'm gonna grab three greens. You can grab any green you want or you can grab gray or you can grab brown or you can grab purple or pink, whatever you want for your stem. I've got this. Ooh, I got to come up again so you can see. I have my string. Remember, we had to match the ends and find the middle. Remember that? And then I'm going to tape my middle. So look, my ends are together. Here's my middle points. And I'm going to tape this on my board. This is going to be my middle part. Actually, let me put my middle bead on there first, silly me. Oh, my middle bead before I tape. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get the bead directly in the middle. So I lost my middle point. Just get your two ends together. So once you pull it, 
this will naturally get to your midpoint, okay? So you can't see because I'm on a screen, but I'm just pulling this string together, okay? And there's my middle point. That is where I'm going to put my tape. And this, there's just a little bit of tape on here, so don't pull too hard. It's just to help you. All righty. Now you know what we have, our little nubby straws. <laughs> Didn't know they'd come in handy for this guy, did ya? So we're just gonna put one and two. Get in there, little man. Let's see. Give us, yep. There we go, one and two. Remember our trick. I love this little jack o' -lantern. He's so cute. Don't you think he's so adorable? Okay, in goes this one, right, to the right, to the right, to the right, and then to the left. Get in there, there we go. Okay, don't lose your midpoint. Grab your ends, and then you can just push it up if you want. There's our stem, so cute. I'm gonna, I should have grabbed a bigger piece of tape here. Let me do that. And like I said, if you don't have tape, no bigs. Oh, I just like it. Be, mm -hmm. So sorry to interrupt again. No, um, how long was the jack-o'-lantern string? Jack-o'-lantern, I just made him, um, I think he was four, four feet. Perfect. So measure out, and I did loose, so I made him like extra long. So measure out a longer measure. If you have a ruler, it's four rulers, a little over four rulers. If you are not doing feet yet, if you have not learned feet. Okay. He's so cute. We're rocking and rolling now, guys. All right, now, next one, we've got, let me put this guy over here. One, two, three, four, five oranges. One. And again, if you don't have these colors, just make it what you want. Have you seen jack-o'-lanterns these days? They are glittery some are purple some have stickers all over them some have i mean there's anything you could ever imagine you can make your jack lantern however you want because you're the boss okay so this one was did i get it right one two three four five one two three whoop this one was too long six yeah i get talking and then i lose my counting all right, in to the right. So once you have the strategy down, which is what we did at the very beginning of class, that always takes the longest because you're just learning all the new techniques. But once you have those, you can make, you could do this for hours if you wanted. Okay, the next row is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna go seven. All right, Nicole, did people, do we have any friends who have not started school yet? Who are still in summer break? We have a, a couple. Let's see. Let me roll down to that. We've got. Um, looks like we've got three friends who have not started school yet. Wow. Well, I am in North Carolina. I live in Charlotte. And this is our first week of school. So some people have been in school. I talked to my friend who's also a teacher and her, she went back July 29th. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's not even year round school. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it. 
We have a few more friends who've said that they have not started yet, and they'll be starting soon. Wow. Don't leave me when you guys get back to school now, okay? <laughs> It'll just be me and Nicole talking on here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was thinking that we were going to have low numbers today, but we had a lot of people sign up for this class, which is super fun. I feel like this is a good time of day because if you're younger, your parents are cooking and maybe you're sitting with them at the counter and we're working on this on your own and they can help every once in a while. But if you, if these are my kids that are mostly eight and nine, you can do most of this on your own, which is pretty cool. My first grader might need a little help, but I bet my first grader is getting the hang of it by now. Except the time that can be tricky. And then I've got three oranges. One. I cannot wait for Halloween. We love Halloween around here because my kids always go as a pair. So they always kind of match. And they're in middle school and high school now, and they still have fun doing and dressing together. So they've gone as Princess and the Frog. They've gone as Thing 1 and Thing 2. They've gone as two years ago, they were a cow, a chicken and a cow, inflatables. That was funny. Last year, they were the Mad Hatter and Alice in Wonder. No, the Queen of Hearts. What else? Here's. They did Dia de los Muertos, like the Day of the Dead. What else? So we're open to ideas. I thought cookies and milk would be fun. They haven't done that. We do not have a plan for this year yet. Still on summertime, right? <laughs> All right, we've got one, two, three, four, and then we've got the nose and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I have so much fun with you guys. Like I always lose track of time. Time just, I shouldn't say lose track of time. I watch the time, but the time goes so quickly. Does it go quickly for you? We are already starting to plan for the Christmas season with Michael's crafts, which is really fun. I'm excited about that. Ooh, and we've got some really fun crafts coming up here. I'm super excited. We're doing a mini foods, like out of Play-Doh, like a sculpting class. So we're doing some fall foods, which is going to be really, really fun. Ooh, see, I lost track because I'm just chit-chatting. Okay, here we go. One more. We're making a mini s'more and a mini candy apple and a mini, um, oh, what are the other things? I can't remember right off the top of my head, but you'll have to go into the Michaels app and see it. That's my favorite one. Oh, and we're making slime, unicorn slime. That's going to be fun. And then we're going to do a sensory bin, an alien sensory bin with slime. I don't know if that's on the sign up yet. But it's coming. There's his nose. Okay, we're on the top of the smiley face. We've got two and then a black. And then we've got three and a black and two and a black. I need to start a new straw. You didn't know we used so many straws, did you? And then slice down the middle. We'll just be careful, of course. Actually, like using the kid scissors better on this one. Okay, so we've got two, one, two, and a black. And then three and a black.
because I want to get them or let's see here. There we are. And then three. One, two, three. Do you guys carve pumpkins at Halloween? I don't know why, but we don't do it that often. It always comes by a big surprise to my husband because I'm obviously I like to do crafts. I don't know why I don't. I think I just kind of forget about it. <laughs> like I buy, I buy them. I buy the pumpkins and then we have them on the porch. And then I forget about, I think, because we're just thinking about the costumes. Who knows? Well, this guy does not want to go in. There we go. And two more. I used to live in Milwaukee and they had a big pumpkin carving contest. And when I say big, I mean big. Like they use giant pumpkins kind of like you see on tv when they carve those pumpkins and they're just so amazing i'm always amazed by people who can do that Oop, did he fall off come back go back to your home here we go oh man we're starting to run out of time now my whole heart is sad okay I've got the start of the smile. I want you to take a picture of this pattern, okay? Will you take a picture of that pattern so we don't forget? The next one's gonna be three, three, three. I just wanna make sure that you guys get this. One. I feel like I can finish. Can I finish? Please take a picture. I'm running out of time. Three, three, three. One, two, three. I'm not going to cut them, okay, guys? Because I just want you to see. Three. Oops. Before we have to get rocking and rolling here. This one straw end is giving me a hard time. And then three. One, two, three. So that's the end of this guy. I'm just gonna set them on there so you can see, okay? That's the next one. Let me snip it. And so do you see what our next row is? It's just gonna be all oranges. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oranges. Oh man, just a couple minutes left. And then it'll be four oranges. One, two, three, four. Luckily, you know how to do this. You don't need me for this, you guys. Seven. I get it? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So here's the next row. And then the final row is four. Oh, just didn't want to leave you hanging. The final row is four. One. Two. Three. And four. There we go. Okay. Okay, so... Let me show you, I'm not gonna string these on because I just wanted to show you really, really quickly one last how to finish it off. So just pretend like that's done, okay? You just bring your string through the back, pull it through this hole, okay? And you do it a second time, put it through. And remember, it's kind of loose here in the beginning, and then you pull it tight. Pull it through again, and then you're going to bring these guys real tight. Kind of loose at first until you get it 
really close to those beads and then pull tight, tight, tight. Okay. Did you see that? I know I'm kind of, there we go. Real tight. You push it. I'm not going to do this because I want to finish it, but let me just, okay. So I pulled it. It went in and out, in and out, just kind of like you do with your shoes, but you're doing it two times. Okay. And then nice and tight. Okie dokes. So there's that. Hopefully you guys got to finish. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, Nicole, if you do not mind bringing it up to my face so that I can say goodbye. All right, my friends. Great job. I'm going to move this out of the way. Great job. You did something amazing. Oh my gosh. Every time I come up, my hair looks crazy. It's like a crazy crafting day or something. <laughs> what in the world? Anywho, great job. Super proud of you. You did a fantastic job. You know how to do this. If you've taken my class before, this is the second time we've done this. Remember, if you didn't get it this time around, check out the YouTube video tomorrow. Especially, I know that tying was a little bit tricky. Check that out. And um, don't forget to glue it so it doesn't unravel on you. And now you have two more backpack pulls to add to your backpack or whatever, your lunchbox, whatever you want to do. But I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next week. We're going to be making pipe cleaner people. You can see I've got a little pipe cleaner person back there on my bookshelf. Do you see him? It's super fun, super easy, super, super easy beginner course. And um, we're just going to get together and make some fun little finger puppets and lots of fun little things. So. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to find me on Instagram at La Cozy Casita and share your pictures with me. I'd love to share them with everybody else. Hope you guys have a great night. Bye.